My research program focuses on the roller crimper system, the technique that's been pioneered by the Rodale Institute, which involves a fall planted cover crop. Typically, we use a cereal rye within this system that is planted usually by the beginning of October at a fairly high seeding rate, a higher seeding rate than you'd use for a typical green manure planting. It's critical in this system for that cover crop to reach a stage of anthesis, so when that pollen starts to shut off of the heads, which in Wisconsin we, we get to that stage usually the um, fourth week of May. Um, at that time, the cover crop is, is terminated, so we, we kill the rye, uh, usually with a roller crimper, which is a large roller that is either mounted on the front or the back of a tractor rolls over the cover crop so it flattens it and also bends and crimps the stem and with that action um, and doing it at that particular time of maturity of anthesis the rye doesn't um, come back and continue to grow it lays flat on the soil surface as a killed mulch that mulch will lay on the soil surface and suppress weeds we found that soybean works particularly well with this system the planting equipment can go right over that rye mulch and the seed um, with particular equipment modifications can penetrate through the rye mulch and get into the ground and the soybean can actually grow up through the rye mulch but with that rye mulch lying on the soil surface the grower doesn't have any need for um, any tillage or cultivation during the whole cash crop production system. We've tried to uh, plant the soybean on narrow rows to um, enhance the canopy closure to quicken canopy closure so rather than planting on 30 inch rows we plant on narrow seven and a half inch rows using a drill um, so that tends to minimize the risk of late season weed infestation. In some years, we see up to a 25% yield reduction, which is significant. In other years, we've seen fairly comparable yields, and even yields that have um, been in excess of what a typical organic production technique would be, which in our systems, where I'm located in Wisconsin, would be about 45 to 50 bushels per acre. The next phases of research are looking at optimizing fertility in the system, and even potentially adding a starter fertilizer to the soybean. Typically as soybean is a legume, we don't necessarily add nitrogen fertilizer, but there does seem to be a need in this system to potentially enhance um, fertility management to um, try to overcome that yield lag that we see at certain times in the system. We've also tried to adapt this system for field corn. Corn tends to be much more sensitive to the delayed planting. The other significant issue is different insect interactions. One option would be to try to terminate the cover crop um, earlier, perhaps, and then come in uh, later with the corn after that cover crop has dried down a bit, um, which may limit the um, attraction of insects.